now, your news on the go. 754 and 61 degrees on the local station. Here's your news on the go this morning. Protesters gathering in downtown Ithaca Commons over the abrupt closure of the College Avenue Starbucks. Workers say they were blindsided by this decision. According to Bloomberg, the Starbucks Workers United Union has filed a charge with the National Labor Relations Board. The store has said the decision to close was unrelated to the unionization effort. The Syracuse Mets and the CNY Diaper Bank will host a diaper drive ahead of today's game at NBT Bank Stadium. The drive will start at 11.30 this morning and they'll be collecting diapers until 1 p.m. For every pack of clean and unused diapers, fans are going to receive a random bobblehead, courtesy of the Syracuse Mets. And aside from the drive, $4 per ticket will go towards supporting the CNY Diaper Bank. Well, on your mark, get set, go. The 43rd annual YMCA Sprint Triathlon bringing hundreds of courageous athletes for events throughout the weekend at Green Lake State Park. The 8K Trail Race starts this morning in just a few minutes at 8 o'clock. This all raises money for the WISE financial assistance programs. Right now it is 7.55. Shelby Clark is back with a final check of Central New York's most accurate forecast. Shelby. Good morning, clouds. The main story for us for this morning, but overall, not bad. A few breaks in the cloud cover, and if you woke up early on this morning, it was a beautiful sunrise. As for later on today, a little bit of a change of scenery. We have that chance for rainfall returning. A couple sprinkles throughout the morning hours, but overall, it was a mainly dry start. Changes, though, like I said, this afternoon. Current temperatures across the board for us were in the upper 50s to low 60s. Warming up nicely this afternoon, and that's with a southwest wind, helping our temperatures back into the low to mid-70s for afternoon highs. This is actually close to what we're used to for this time of the year. But again, we are introducing that chance for rainfall. This is coming our way after the noon hour. Scattered showers, couple isolated rumbles of thunder, which may produce that stronger wind gust. Overall, though, it will not be a washout for us for today. Over the next couple of days, we start a slow warming trend, actually feeling a little more like summer conditions for us, especially by Wednesday. Dry start to the new work week, but with increasing moisture, so it's feeling a little more humid for Wednesday. Just in time for that rainfall to return for us. For the end of the new work week, temperatures still into the 80s. Showers and thunderstorms returning. Not bad. I'm excited for a little warm up. Yeah, me too. Well, outdoor days, maybe next to the pool. Pools are open now, so perfect. Yes, that's yeah. right. All right, thanks, Shelby, and thanks for joining us. Happy Sunday, everyone.